second generation Chevrolet Camaro is an American pony car that was produced by Chevrolet from 1970 through the 1981 model years. It was introduced in the spring of 1970. GM engineers have said the car generation is much more of a driver's car than its predecessor. Dubbed Super Hugger, the second generation Camaro was an all new Camaro with its basic mechanical layout familiar and engineered much like its predecessor with the unibody structure utilizing a front subframe, A-arm and coil spring front suspension and rear leaf springs. The chassis and suspension of the second generation were refined in both performance and comfort. Base models offered significant advances in soundproofing, ride isolation and road holding. Extensive experience Chevrolet engineers had gained racing the first generation led directly to advances in second generation Camaro steering, braking, and balance. High performance configurations were initially available, but the marketplace changed as the 1970s progressed with fuel crisis, higher insurance rates, and tightening emission regulations. Major styling changes were made in 1974 and 1978. 1981 was the final model year for the second generation Camaro. The 1970 version was the first Camaro offered with a rear stabilizer bar. The four-wheel disc brake option was dropped. The 1970 model was introduced to the assembly plants in February 1970, halfway through the model year. This caused some people to refer to it as the 1970 and a half model. All were 1970 models. The 1970 model year vehicles are generally regarded as the most desirable of the early second generation Camaros since the performance of following years was reduced by the automobile emissions control systems of the period and later the addition of heavily federally mandated buffers.